in this video we will work on the remaining part of our home screen so I, I created this constant file and added these three constants for this API key you actually have to sign up for the IMDB database or DMDB database I will add the link in the description so you can sign up and create your own API key and then these are the two URLs that we will be using first one is for fetching the image from the IMDB database and another is the base URL for the APIs so I will provide this constant file in the resource folder as well so let's start by first uh, looking at this JSON so this this is actually from the API documentation I will share the link of this documentation with you guys so you can see this is the JSON that is expected to return when you call this API so uh, we also have this quicktype.io that lets you convert your JSON into desired language so you can choose any language to convert your JSON so I actually already converted for Swift so we can copy this JSON and then uh, I need to go into our home and I will actually add a new folder let's name it as model then we need a view model as well and in the last we just need a folder for the view so in the model I need to add a new file and this will be a swift file let's name it as movie and let's paste our JSON that we our object that we converted from JSON so right now what we need is we need to convert this into movie and name it as movie and this is, should be movie response and then for this original language this is actually an enum but for now we don't need an enum we can just use string but if, we, if it's required we can do it later later on okay so yeah that's it and then we just need to have an extension for this movie stroke we will add uh, maybe like image url or image yeah, image url string or something so that we can return the uh, urls for the images so it should be image based uri plus uh, we actually have two uh, two variables for to determine this so let's use this posture path and we first have to yeah I guess this can be null sometime but let's just go on and see if it's available or not and yeah this is this is for the model now we just need to add this let's just first add this view into the view folder and now we need to add a view for our movie called so it should be a script UI let's name it as movie called uh, and then we need to actually provide this view a movie object to work with so it will need a movie and for this developer preview we actually are going to add a new extension for the review provider it's available in Swift UI so let's import it and then preview provider and then we need to have static war dev and we need to have a developer preview class it will be based on singleton so let have us a single 10 instance for this class and we will private the init method so and then we can provide the instance and in here we can have our, our constant or static values for our preview so
So for now, we are actually only interested in this poster path. So I will try to use one uh, real value for it and all these other values you can just fill. Uh, I guess you can, you can have just random values for now, but later on, uh, we, we might need other values. So you can just uh, pause the video and fill all the real values from here into into your set into your this models will be a double so let's have it so now we can provide our movie constant to this preview and for this movie we actually need to have another view that's let's call it as custom image view because this is going to display the image for us from the url so we will let have let's actually we need a movie in here as well so we need to provide movie from maybe dev to this guy and then in here we will try to use the async image and for the url we will have the url from movie dot image url that we just created in there and then once the image is available we can do some work on it so we will try to resize the image and then maybe scale to fill and then for the placeholder we will have our z stock z, z stack and then let's just have maybe this color one for the background and for the text we will display the movie name like title so i guess we need title for the movie as well a real title so that this this will be this okay let me finish it so so this placeholder will be visible while the api is fetching the image for the for this uh, for this URL or if the URL if some for some reason the URL is failed to fetch the image so this uh, placeholder will be displayed so in the last we just need to clip shape it to the rounded rectangle with corner radius of 20 and if you notice we have actually the same image view but with different sizes so we actually need to get the maybe item width from the other side which is this should be utilized in this image view so we also need the item height from the other side so we can now uh, before this we can just use the frame here provide width and height yeah so now we can okay we need to actually provide the width here so let's just have 150 maybe yeah and for this movie card now we need to use this async image or this custom image that we just created and we need to pause the movie here so we already have the movie but for the item width and item height we actually have the same movie call for both of these this grid and this uh, scroll view so we actually need to have a way to determine which type is user or which type the client is client requesting to display so we will have this movie I guess card type and enum and uh, Let's just say we have this uh, poster and then we have this grid. So we call this uh, big, I guess, big cards as poster and this smaller cards as a grid. And then we will have some other values based on which uh, type we are using. So we will have this width. So we will determine uh, how much width we actually 
how much width of the screen how much percentage of the width we want for this type so let's just switch so if we are using the type poster let's just say 45 percent of screen and if we are using just the grid then let's just use 20 percent and same for this height we want to use maybe 50 and then maybe 25 we will adjust these values but let's just have something for now and now we also need this type and by default let's just use poster and we actually need to have okay we already have these values i think i added them and just uh, forget to mention them but uh, we have this screen width and it's just telling us the width of the screen and then we also have the screen height and it's telling us the height of the screen and remember one thing that if you are sporting different screen orientation like the landscape mode then you may have to use the geometry for this and because these values are um, very accurate for the portrait but not for the landscape so yeah that's it for for this so now we need to have an extension here let's have movie car and we name it as item width so let's just return cg float from here so what we will do is we will multiply the screen width with the type of the card so if the card is poster then we are using 45 percent of the screen and if it's a grid then we will be using the 25 or whatever element so that's how it will work so item width here and item height here so now we have our movie card we can go back to our home view and we can use it here so let's have a scroll view it will be scrolling horizontal with no indicator so for now we can just have a loop in here that runs i guess for five times maybe and later on we will have our real data from the api so in here we just need to okay we can use actually the developer preview for this movie because we don't have any movie uh, object right now so that's it for this and for the grid let's just have maybe I think lazy v grid and for the columns we can use grid item dot flexible let's use it for three times because we want three columns here and let's give it a spacing of 20 for the content we again need to use maybe this loop here let's maybe add 15 items so just for now and later on we will have our real data from the api so let's see how it looks we may have some issue here so let's fix the argument positions okay it needs cg floor so let's just have like this okay we have some other issues so let's just see what values are in there item width item height so i guess instead of this let's just give it maybe the okay let's just convert maybe like have the screen or i guess we were not providing the valid values because the movie is now at the lost so now i guess now it should work because previously we were providing movie for the second argument but it wasn't uh, available because it was the cg flow type so let's see how it looks and we may have to adjust few values but that's fine yeah so yeah we actually have to use the edge tag here
Okay, this looks fine, I guess. We just need to have a little space in here. And what do we need to have space like this? And then for the, I think for this movie called type, we may need to adjust three values for the, I guess, width. Maybe let's try 15. Oh, okay, we actually are not utilizing the type value. We have to tell it that we want. Okay, so I guess this should be var here so that we can modify it from the other side and let's just use grid now. So, let's see how it looks with the grid. Okay, so this looks, I guess, fine maybe. Let's just try to update it by 30% height. So it's not updating it in the real time. So we may have to do something about it. Hmm. So this looks much better for now and uh, maybe let's try I guess 30 here and see how it looks and for the poster width I guess width is good we just need to have more height. Okay, I think this is better. Okay, this this is this is good. So we can just confirm if our why our image is not showing up. So we can go to the constant class we just created and grab this image. And we are actually utilizing this one poster part. Let's put this poster part and see. Oh, okay. So maybe this is not the real data because this is actually, I'm not sure if it's any relevant because it's, uh, it's just an example. So that's why maybe the image path is broken, but I think we have a pretty good design. So in the next video, we will try to add the networking layer into our application. And then I guess after that uh, networking there, we can then have the real data coming up into the ever into our app. So that's it for this video. See you next time.